hello there. Always thinking. Nicole. You can't see oi. Oh yeah. And oi. <laughs> um first, this is gonna cover um a, a few subjects. And the really funny thing is that I'm so planned not on doing a video today. I was thinking I would make you do it tomorrow. Yes. I just felt kinda tired and bleh. And then all of a sudden I just had this burst of energy and I just felt like I really, really had to sit down and do this right now. So, first thing I wanted to, uh, oh, oh, no, wait, first thing, because as promised, I have my glasses, don't laugh, and I can't keep them on because remember, I'm farsighted, so I'm, right now when I put them on, I'm not going to be able to see. <laughs> oh, so, do I look smarter? <laughs> oh, bleh. I maybe should have got bifocals. Anyways, um, I wanted to, first thing I wanted to talk about was um, something that last week, um, one of my subscribers and um, is fast becoming a good friend of mine, David, that um, we met up for that video chat practice, you know, thing that I had mentioned. And we had a really, really good conversation. And one of the things, you know, that I asked him was if time seemed like it was getting longer. I mean, you know, and, and I think how I put it to him was, um, you know, when you're a kid, it, time seems like it's long. You know, it's summertime, it's long, it's, everything's just outstretched out ahead of you. And then as you get older, you know, time just keeps speeding up and the older you get the faster it goes and I mean seriously the older you at least it was before for me the older you get every year that passes it just goes faster and faster like you're getting closer to the end of your life that sucks but in the past couple months for me time has gone really slow like really slow which sucks really bad when you're at work. Really, I hate it when you're at work. You want time to just go like that. But it it feels like, um, you know, like an hour or two go by. And, you know, you look at the clock and it's been five or ten minutes. And I, so I was, I was talking to him about that. And he came up with this notion that I had not thought about. He pointed out that, you know, when you're a kid, everything is, is new to you. You're learning all of this new stuff. You're, you're experiencing new types of things. And so that makes time go, you know, by, or so it seems longer. And then as you get older, because everything is similar to you, you know, everything is the same thing day after day. So it just goes. Day after day, week after week, I don't know if you're like me, you live paycheck to paycheck, so you're just, that's what you're always looking forward to. And so his thought was, you know, maybe now, if, if you all are experiencing the same thing with, with time slowing down, because we're, we're coming to this new reality and and um, things are, are we're almost kind of like not children, but not really children. And, and we're experiencing things that are new and it, it was like almost like this new horizon in front of us and so time is slowing down. I don't know, I thought that was a really, really interesting concept that he had. I thought I would share it with you and also wanted to know, you know, if you guys are experiencing the same thing, you know, with time slowing down. Which, like I said, if I'm doing something really fun, I'm happy for it to slow down. <laughs> But not if I'm at work or something like that. Okay, so next thing I wanted to ask you guys about, and I have heard this, and some a lot of this stuff I touched on um, with David during the practice video session. So I'm just, a, you know, if he's watching this, he's probably like, yeah, yeah, I heard it already. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh, and I did, he, him and I were the only ones that ended up showing up um, you know, the time difference, time zones, and people having jobs, and people being nervous because they thought 
you're going to be seen like this and you know whatever I'll, I'm, I'm probably give it one more shot just to see um, I did have one of my poor subscribers who lives in a completely different time zone got it messed up and showed up um, and won't say my subscriber's name because I don't want it embarrassed but <laughs> I felt so bad um, showed up two hours later and I got a uh, message on my phone saying that I had somebody waiting in my room and I'm like, oh, what? So I, I went in the room and um, I didn't have that much time and so I did, I spent a few minutes there. I felt really bad that I couldn't spend more time, you know, because this this person made the effort. They just were late. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so the other other thing that I was going to um, touch on, and I've heard this, people have been talking about this one for for a month or two or, or longer, um, was the, how the sun looked different, you know. And during this time, I was like, no, I didn't, it seems pretty much the same to me. I think, you know, and I'm 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 a sun lover. I don't like, you know, lay out in the sun and that type of thing, but any time that it's nice out and warm out, you know, I, I pull a chair out or sit on the grass out in the sun and and read or, you know, just go for a walk. I, I love the sun. That's why I hate where I live because we don't get that much sun. Anyways, um, after I had that visual experience, all of a sudden, I'm like, okay, yeah, I know what they're talking about now. The sun, the, it, the, it, the sun looks messed up. It's like brighter. I've never worn, had worn sunglasses because like I said, I've always loved the sun. Even if I'm squinting when I'm outside and they tell you that's not good for you, I'm just like, I don't care. But now when I go out, I, I, <laughs> I want to put sunglasses on. I don't know how often lately in the past couple weeks when I'm in the car, I actually grab sunglasses and put them on because the glare, it's its almost akin to in the winter when you've got a full blanket of snow and it's a really sunny day and, you know, that glare, and I literally, I can't see. And it's not just the sun, it's, you know, um, I go into work and now the fluorescent lights and I literally <laughs> just stop myself when I walk in the front door from going like this. Because that would look kind of silly. People would think something's wrong with me. Or more wrong with me. Um, so anyways, thought I'd throw that out there for you guys. Um, in case that's happened to you too. Apparently it has because I've, I've heard a lot about it. Um, another thing that I w wanted to ask you guys. Because I just always um, assumed. Which you know, we know what happens when you do that. That everybody else dreamed the same way that I did. And I mean, this isn't a new thing. I've heard about this over the past couple years. But it just struck me lately like, hmm, I wonder, is that another commonality, maybe? The whole dreaming in color versus black and white. Now, I always thought that was the weirdest thing because I, I've always dreamed in color regular color, you know, like what I'm seeing right here, this is how I dream. And I would actually find it really, really kind of freaky if all of a sudden I had a dream and it was in black and white. I would instantly be like, uh, no, okay, is this another Mandela effect change? Because I don't like it. <laughs> so I'm curious about you guys, if you um, have dream in color or you dream in black and white. And also on that topic, I was curious because, and this one I've just learned about, I guess apparently a lot of people don't remember their dreams. I mean, I know, I, I remember most of my dreams, at least, you know, the ones that are in the second half of the night, you know, towards morning. And, and except for, you know, and if it's just a regular dream and there was nothing significant after a few hours, it, you know, gradually fades away. But from what I understand, that's kind of not normal. People don't remember their dreams. I don't know. What do, you, do you guys remember your dreams? Do you dream in color? Do you remember your dreams? Just another curiosity of mine. Um, and then one more thing I was going to um, touch on was something that I have noticed over 
past month or so. Oh, you know, and that brings me back to the whole time slowing down thing. And it made me think about that because I keep stopping to think, you know, like, was it a month ago? Was it two months ago? Because time seems to have become completely irrelevant to me. I literally, when I wake up in the morning, and I'm going to use this cliche because it's exactly what it feels like, I feel like I've been reset. <laughs> I wake up and I have to, it takes me a while. It's not because I'm feeling groggy and stuff. I've never experienced this before. I wake up and I'm like, what fucking day is it? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. See, it worked yesterday. I'm literally going through this, this whole thing. My mind is trying to tell me that it's Saturday. And I'm like, no, is it Tuesday? Is it Monday? I have no idea. Time seems to have no relevance to me anymore. And I have to literally, consciously think about it. Okay, so now back to the other thing. You guys should be used to me jumping around by now. Um, so about a month or so ago, I started noticing, now I've had this happen to me um, maybe once a month in the past, you know, when you're you're sitting at nighttime in the, in the house, you know, you see something out of the corner of your eye and, you know, kind of glance over, oh, nothing there, okay, I'm seeing things. But now, I am seeing a couple times a day, broad daylight, seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Sometimes it'll be like right next to me, and this is, you know, there's nobody else here with me at this time, and be right next to me, and it literally startles me, and I jump, and I look, and of course there's nothing there. You know, sometimes it'll be on the far side of the room. Um, there's been, you know, some times where I'm outside and it will be outside and it's just right out of the corner of my eye and I, I can see it and every single time I feel a cough coming. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> um, and every single time, you know, I startle because I can, I can see it. There's something there, but there isn't. So have you guys been experiencing that as well? Because that one's kind of been, that's weird, you know, especially during broad daylight when a couple times a day. It's, 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 it's getting to be a lot. So, oh, and then I have to say, this is like that thing. It was just kind of a little funny thing that popped on my head before I wrap it up. Because I've noticed that a lot of us, um, affected which I really hate that word. I was just talking to one of my subscribers earlier today and we were both commenting about how that's such a terrible word because it sounds like we have some sort of contagious affliction or something. <laughs> Actually, to me, it feels like the complete opposite. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I, was, I was thinking about this the other day and I had to chuckle to myself. Um, how a lot of us... Um, that are experiencing the effect seem to be empaths. You know, we seem to, to be very, very caring, um, compassionate, loving people who are very in tune to those around us. And I kind of visualize <laughs> what it would be like with a room full of empaths. I mean, it would be very pleasurable, but it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, I'm so sorry you're having a bad day. No, I'm so sorry you're having a bad day. Really? No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. You're fine. We would be trying to make each other feel better all the time. And I don't know if you think that's kind of funny, but I do. It wouldn't be a bad thing. I'd rather be filled with a room of empaths than the people that I am normally surrounded by. Let me tell you that. So, anyways, um, on that note, I hope. But you all have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.